Hey there, this is Alpesh Patel, thinker, author, and speaker. In my last video, we talked about uh, how chemical in our body makes us uh, think, makes us feel low at a first sight. And today, we are going to talk about never make a real life decisions with your emotions or feelings. Always take your real life decisions by your head. Before we start our topic, I would like to thank all my subscribers who subscribed me last week. Thank you very much for subscribing. Okay, so today's topic is use your head. Take your real life decisions with your head. Think in your normal life and uh, your normal decisions, if you are confused to take decisions, like which one to do first, uh, where to go first, or uh, all minor decisions. If you are confused into taking those type of decisions, you are an army without a chief. You don't have no head to take the right decisions at the right time. And if you don't have a right head to take the right decision, you are an army without a chief. You will not end up anywhere. You are living a headless life because you cannot take the right decision. You are getting confused. Your emotions and feelings say something, your mind says something else. You are living a headless life. Go with your head. Put your emotions away to take a righteous decision. Let your head take their decisions. Think by your head. Take a right decision by your head. Put your head first. Emotions and feelings does not work with your dream. It will not help you to get your dream, get success. You get to your dream. Your emotions and feelings will keep you in a comfort zone. Your emotions and feelings will not let you or your loved ones take a hard step to get to your goal, to achieve your dream. It will not let you take any extra hard step to get your dream, to reach your dream. If you do not work hard, if you don't plan for it, it will not let you achieve your goal. Always take a righteous decision with your head. Let your head work. Keep your emotions and feelings aside to take a righteous decisions. Without the proper planning, you cannot achieve your dream. You cannot reach to your dream. And your head will make a plan, not your emotions. Your head will push you to get it done. Your head will push you to get to your dream, to work for your dream. Your head will push you to take extra step to reach your dream. Your emotions will not. Your head will tell you to go get it. Your emotions will pull you back. Use your head. What happens when someone pointing out your mistake? Why your emotions get hurt? Why can't we take it as an opportunity to correct ourselves and be even better? Because we are not using our head. Put your head first. We are paying so much attention to emotions and feelings that most of us don't even know what we want to be in our life, where we want to reach in our life, what we want to get from our life. Most of us don't even think about it. We are so much buried under emotions and feelings. Most people started feeling like, you know, people around them, they should feel and do the same thing and same way what they are feeling and doing. That's not gonna happen. Put your head first. Use your head. If we can make our kids use this simple formula to use our head first, take a real life decisions thoughtfully. Think before they take any action. Think before they do anything. Do you think we have to worry who their friends are, if any of their friends is on the wrong way? If your kid is uh, thinking emotionally, what, what your kid gonna say about his friend who is on the wrong way? He'll say, Oh, he's just my friend, he'll be okay. He's not like that. But if he is thinking righteously, he's using his head, what he'll do? He'll kick his butt and tell him to get out of here and don't come to me. Stay away from me. But when 
if he is using his head if he is taking his decisions with the head if he is taking his decisions thoughtfully if someone is trying to abuse your kids physically or sexually by using the emotional words if your kid is ready to take their decisions thoughtfully by using their head do you think anybody can take advantage of your daughter no right because she is using her head she's not going to be emotionally you know involved in it she can think what someone is trying to do what they really wants to do she'll be able to figure out she won't get into emotion she'll think she'll use her head she'll kick his butt and tell him get out of here don't ever come back to me or I'll call police do you think anybody can uh, try to abuse your kids if they are if they are taking a decision thoughtfully I don't think so put their head first we have to be trained first to take decisions uh, our real life decisions with our head so we can train our kids to take righteous decisions with the head not emotions yes you can use your feelings and emotions for your kids you can use your emotion and feelings for your love don't take real life decisions with your emotions and feelings keep your emotions aside when you have to take a right decision for the real life use your head put your head first if we can put our head first if we can take our decision thoughtfully we can train our kids and do you think we have to worry with whom they are hanging out with whom they got married with they are going to take a right decision for their life if you train them to take a right decision not emotionally not feeling fully by the head if they use the head most of the problems be gone i'm not saying all the problems be gone but most of the problem will be solved before it arise my video be successful if this video helps someone it changes someone's life if it saves some daughter by abusing by somebody my video be successful to be grateful please share subscribe and like that be great and normally i'm making videos on the topic of happiness if you want me to cover any particular topic related to happiness please comment down below and i'll try my best to work on that video i'll shout out your name that this person requested this video this is alpesh patel thinker author and speaker signing off now see you in next video